In this experiment, we'll be making a tin hedgehog using sodium bisulfate, zinc, and tin chloride. Firstly, you need to prepare the tin chloride solution by putting the sodium bisulfate in the tin chloride container. Secondly, you should put the red cap on the tin chloride container and shake it. After this, you need to fill the vial halfway and drop in a zinc pellet. Metals in their metallic form are made of positively charged particles embedded in a negatively charged cloud of electrons. Particles of some metals like to reside inside such a cloud more than others. In our experiment, the tin would rather stay in a cloud of electrons where zinc is relatively more inclined to float on its own as a charged particle, or as chemists would say, an ion. When we place zinc, a zinc pellet in a solution containing tin ions, the tin ions pull the electrical blanket over, turning the metallic tin, and zinc ventures out into the solution. The tin particles do not just settle all over the place randomly, they prefer a certain way of sitting next to each other. Chemists call this crystal structure. This is why tin forms elegant needles and doesn't cover the zinc evenly. Other compounds, meanwhile, have different crystal structures. If you take a solution containing, say, copper ions instead of tin ions, you won't create a needly hedgehog, but rather some completely different beast. 